What's happening, Mads? We're packing. Why are we packing? Because we're going back to the boat Sunday. And today is Friday. Friday. We're getting the train up tomorrow to Gatwick, staying overnight. And then, yeah, back to the boat. Bit of heat. Bit of heat. See if we can show you outside. It's not terrible today, but it, it has been. It's, uh, but yeah, we've had enough of this. Got winter. all the important stuff to bring back with us here. Oh, indeed. Many bottles of vino. And our Christmas hats. I uh, can't wait. <laughs> no, it is going to be good. Christmas on the boat. Um, let me go and show you the carnage that is. We've had to buy another bag. Um, I've got a lot of boat spares. Let me show you. Excuse the spinnies. Um, so, here is the carnage. As you can see, we've, this is Maddie's old bag. I've got mine. We was going to put this one in retirement, but it's come back out of retirement. There's a lot of stuff in the Caribbean that are expensive. So we are stocking up things like hand soaps and toothpastes and stuff, just stuff that we know we can get. Um, yeah, and I've just like boat spares. That's the main thing. All this here, fan belts and impellers and bits and pieces, and uh, just stuff that we kind of need for on the boat. For example, fans. That was a big one. So our fans sort of gave out on us so we're taking more fans and coffee um lots of good coffee because it's expensive over there also so yeah packing getting ready for the off we're at gatwick just done a twilight check-in nobody there our bags were on the limit um <laughs> the limit. <laughs> best kept secret you can actually go a little bit over and they don't really say anything you may or may have noticed, may or may not have noticed, I've decided to grow a tash. <laughs> Jury's out on whether it's staying or not, so can you just comment? Thumbs up for yeah, thumbs down for no. I'll have a count up. Um, so we're actually, our hotel is in the airport, Block Hotel, right next to the park so you can just see it over on the left. So we're gonna go check in and come back down, have some dinner, and then uh, see you guys in the morning. Get ready to go back to the sun. Oh, I wonder what the boat's like. Look where we are. Back in St. Lucia. Not where I left the boat. We uh, got out the taxi yesterday, dragged all of our three massive suitcases down to the pontoon where I left her. And there was three completely different boats there. Uh, managed to grab a security guard. It was Sunday, so the marine and it was late, so the marina office would have been shut anyway. Found out that we are rafted up next to the haul out. So I can only assume that they needed to move us yesterday. It's a very busy marina now. All the Ark are in some beautiful boats. Uh, started the engine last night. That works. Um, but yeah, it's not really what I wanted, having to drag three big suitcases, say drag, I was very careful, carefully manoeuvred over that catamaran on the inside, this boat, and then onto the Warrior. Um, cracked on, put the spray hood on last night, and um, yeah, started the engine, checked the windlass, done some bits and pieces, but bags, I mean, look. You didn't even touch anything. Maddie's suitcase is in there. So very busy, very busy day today. Right, I'm gonna crack on, get that lifeboat back on the back. I got the outboard on last night. Um, so yeah, busy day. Chaos in the cabin. We've got a little Christmas bit set up. Um, I've pretty much done my two bags, just got some boat spares to stick away. Um, we've, got our, we've got our Portland Yacht Club Burgi to go up um, and then we're going to head over to the marina office and figure out when we're getting pulled. Onwards with jobs. Um, the dinghy stayed down below um, because of UV damage. Now let me show you, there's Maddie scrubbing away. Say hi. hi. <laughs> so I had a small piece of line that went from one of the shrouds to the pole that I used to pole out, basically. So in the evenings, if we're rocking, it doesn't sort of um, knock it and bang it. Just now I was looking on the deck and there was a piece 
now you can see many pieces of rope. Let me show you, look, this is, this is, this is what UV damage does. That's it there. So yeah, that was on here. That's what the sun does to lines. This is why, if you can see, I've only got a couple of lines on the deck. Let's test them, make sure they're okay. All the others I put inside the sail bag um, just to hide them from, uh, from that UV. It's a terrible thing. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna pump the dinghy up. I know I spoke to a friend of mine, Steve, um, who he knows me on my channel actually in St Lucia um, come over for a beer anyway we stayed in contact he messaged and said that his dinghy had uh, the glue would come off the tubes um, now I put mine down below but it still gets very warm so I'm going to get the dinghy out pump it up check it all over get the outboard on it and just make sure it's going because the last thing you want to do is to get out into an anchorage and not be able to get in so um, this is the place to do it let's have a little spin around here Make sure everything's working. Um, yeah, good to go. Outboard took a few pulls to get going. She's running. So I'm going to take it for a little spin in here. And you may see me rowing back. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen, eh? Let's find out. Another job I've been meaning to do for a while, I think before we cross the Atlantic, one of my electric windlass buttons uh, deteriorated, so I swapped it. Uh, but now the other one, I could only get one. So whilst I was home, I got another one. So this is how bad it actually got. So now, yeah, there it is. So that's the fast up, slow up, changed. Um, I don't need that bit. It's already electrically wired. Um, yeah, it's just a button. Job done. That there was the St. Lucia flag we are flying. That's what the wind and sun damage has done to it. There's another one over the left. Tatters. That's not as bad as that. First full day back on the boat. This has been in it since we left. This is seven month old in the warm Caribbean sun. Well, it was in the fridge, but it just wasn't on. What's the worst that could happen? The time is nearly upon us to move from where we are here <laughs> to out there, to then come back in. You can just see the end of the haul out bit there. Oh, I'm gonna have to get the old uh, wind muff back on this. So yeah, there's the trolley waiting for us. Um, wind's picking up all the time. Typical, it's only about eight knots earlier. And they've gone for their lunch. And now it's picking up, it's about, um, seeing 15 knots. It's just, we're pinned up against this second boat there. Just would have been a lot more easier with less wind. However, we'll see what happens. Okay. Fish. Yeah, that one's the longer one. Yeah. <laughs> we are up. I didn't film getting hauled out because. I filmed it last time we got pulled out here earlier in the year. So just go back and have a look at the procedure. But I wish I did film it because 
the amount of hard marine growth on the bottom of this boat was incredible. Um, to the point where, so this fitting goes through that hole, obviously tightens in. There's a little paddle wheel that sits in there. So as you go through the water, it spins and tells you your boat speed through the water. Um, and it snapped, as you can see, it's not there. Just been to the marina, uh, the chandlery in the marina, nothing. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I'll have to try a different chandlery in different islands and hope for the best. Um, Maddie has filled the front tank, uh, fresh water. Currently doing the rear aft tank. Um, I'm gonna get back under and start scraping. Um, the remnants of the mussels and marine growth. You don't need to see it. Again, just go back to the start of the year. That's what we were doing then. Um, when that's done, give it a light sand and then it's ready for painting. I'm hoping the time now is 10 to four in the afternoon. I'm hoping I can maybe get the first coat of anti-foul on. In fact, you know what? Come with me downstairs and I will show you what it's looking like. There was one of the straps were, <laughs> see it's all crushed it in. Serious amounts, um, scraped off loads. I don't know if you remember my nice shiny prop that I'd done. I mean, it's not, I'm definitely not gonna strip it again. It doesn't need stripping, but it's uh, not as shiny as it was. Luckily the bow thruster managed to um, jet wash clean. So Maddie and I are just gonna start scraping all the little leftover bits and then I can get to sanding. Good morning. <clears throat> We've been up early and cleaning the deck. The reason I've done the deck first is because I don't want to anti-foul and then um, wash the top deck and it all runs onto the anti-foul. So you might be able to see she's looking nice now. The amount of dirt that come off all these benches, it was terrible. Um, so yeah, Maddie's down below, started scraping. I'm gonna head down now, continue scraping with her um, and then start sanding, get ready for the I'm gonna to have to prime a few spots, like I said, um, and then get ready for the first coat. Good morning, Madeline. Good morning. You're having fun? Always. At eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Um, so you can see, that was where the strap was, where Maddie's uh, scraped. And that was this side, so I've not started sanding this yet. So there, there was the straps and what I've done You can see no strap line on there. So just gonna continue. I can't remember where I got to last night. I think about here, yeah. And then just carry on back and then starboard side. And then Maddie should be done by then. And then uh, give her a wash down while it's drying. Probably do the prop and then first coat and then head to the shop. What are you doing, Mads? I am cleaning all of this out. What is it? Fish and grime and horrid stuff. But what are you cleaning out? The inputs and outputs. <laughs> it's an intake. There we this go. Is, these are the raw, this is the raw water intake. Um, it's called the engine. And she's also got inside this one, which is our water maker intake so this one definitely needs to be clean it's looking a lot better than it was i'm now gonna hose down i think i finished sanded so i'm gonna get all the dust off let it dry put some primer and then get at it i went around and i spot primed places that as you can see went a little deeper um, whilst we were getting the mussels off the small aquarium so that's all sanded um we put tape across the bootstrap and I've been round <laughs> I'll show you what I've been using I haven't got a paintbrush um, so you can see what Maddie's been up to it's looking lovely with the vertical stripes and she nearly fell over the stanchion um, so yeah hopefully one coat should be enough um, and then in the morning see if the yard boys can shift these stands and we do underneath so yeah I didn't have a paintbrush so to cut in I was just using that and just sort of getting in up in the up in the gaps. Um, so we're going to crack on. And she's all painted. 
all done. Enough paint hopefully to do these bits when they take them out tomorrow and then move them. I might ask the boys over there if they mind helping me shift these pads now. Um, it's dry. Oh, I got up too quick. Head to spin. Um, yeah, so all we got to do is the real satisfying bit. Um, I'm taking the tape off. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah. Right, let's take it. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, another job that I am going to do. Um, if you watched the episode earlier in the year, I took the blades off of the folding prop, totally cleaned all the way in. I don't think I need to this time. It's looking fine. So what I'm going to do is uh, with the scraper, just take off, gently take off all those bits and then go and get the uh, angle grinder with a paddle wheel on again and sand it down and then probably get a finer bit of sandpaper just to take out any scratches. Um, so join me in a second to see how this turns out. Where we go, Mads? Let's take the tape off. This is the fun bit. <laughs> oh, look. Unexpected. Pass me the scraper site like mark, there's a little bit on her. Yeah. Maddie's saying goodbye to the locals. Alright. <laughs> oh, Stop scraping her a second, move it. Oh. <laughs> 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 Head out to anchor and hope that she still floats. Bit of a tight exit here, you can see the uh, cat coming through. Not really a lot of room for two boats. Well, there is, but it's very, very tight. Short. We're back at sea. Um, obviously I'm not gonna I'm not gonna open my mouth too soon but um, everything seems okay just tested the auto helm that come on AIS is working uh, I've got a little hobby cat coming straight at me he's got right away because he's under sail uh, our anchorage over there looking pretty busy but we're trying to snuggle in somewhere Yeah, let's hope this uh, everything's okay overnight. Mark setting the anchor. 
and he didn't set the anchor alarm. <laughs> No. Yeah, yeah, Guess yeah. it, it's only a little bit ahead. Done it properly this time? I think so. <laughs> Still getting back into it again, isn't it? It's all new to us again. But yeah, the anchor, I love this anchor. She just bites first time. So I've got about 20, 20 meters of chain out again. She's sat on that. So I'm just gonna keep dropping back every five meters. So we've got about 50 meters of scope out, I think. Yeah. Right. And then we come astern. Oh, it doesn't film that, does it? And then we come astern. What that will do is bite the anchor, and we can check then. We use something on the boat, like that stanchion, and we line it up with something on the land. Whilst we're two, uh, 2,000 revs in astern, which is equivalent, I believe, to about 40 knots of wind. Don't quote me on that, I could be wrong. But it lets us know that the anchor's bit, and then we're good. Right, I'm going to pay out some more chain. <laughs> it's lovely, we like this little anchorage. There's Pigeon Island. Yeah, a lot busier than last time we were here. A lot busier. What did I remind you? Well, actually, to be fair, we've only just got out, so what did I see if you remember? What did I remind you to remind me about when we get out to anchor to do? Hang on, I know, one minute. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, you're gonna have a cold shower. Oh! <laughs> right, so what are we doing now? We are going back very hard on the anchor so we know to settle up. Okay, what have we just put on the anchor again? The snubber. Okay, and what's the snubber? It means that all the weight's on the Cleats of the boat rather than the chain. That's right, yeah. Snubber. I've got a, a, a twin bridle snubber. So on the bow, I've got port cleat, starboard cleat. You might be able to just see. So the snub is now uh, clipped on. It's like a hook. It clips onto one of the links, any link. Then you pay out on the chain more, and the snubber's on the cleats, and then the, the snubber takes the weight. So there's no now. There's no weight on the windlass. No weight on the bow roller. It's all on this big heavy bridle on the cleats. So what Maddie's going to do is come astern, as she said, and um, that will pull the anchor and we know then that it's set, as I, as I explained earlier, we're going to use a point. So what we're going to do is, what do you want to do Mads? What point and using what? Using that. Yep. On the little point of the island. Okay, let's come astern. It's not going to be exact. That's how I'm not that moving forward. Are you midships? See? Yep, okay, let's go. Watch your speedo, oh, just over 20 there. Hold it there. I mean, we would we would have moved by now, like we would have gone. I think that's, I think we're pretty well set. So into neutral. And that's it. Anchor set. Anchor set. First evening at anchor. Little sunset. So one of the biggest jobs Maddie has had today. She's completed. Fairy lights. Fairy lights are back up. You happy? Very. Apart from being a little bit seasick. <laughs> Look at that beautiful sunset. Caribbean sunset. Just had my first solar bag shower. A bit chilly, but it was lovely. Like when you, yeah, when you get used to it, I just needed that coolness. Um, so we're gonna hang some washing out and then start cooking dinner. And enjoy our first night at anchor with a wine. Oh. You have to excuse the engine noise. Um, I've got the water maker running and it's not very sunny today, so uh, I need the engine to charge the batteries whilst that's doing. We're going to leave this episode here. Um, thank you for sticking around. I know we was in the UK for seven months and the content changed slightly. Um, it's a sailing channel. We are now back sailing tomorrow or the next day we are going to be heading excuse the spinnies south um to a place called the pitons which is uh like a nature reserve isn't it or something um, anyway we've got to pay an environmental fee so it better be blooming nice <laughs> <laughs> and um yeah thanks again for watching so join us next week where i finish off some boat jobs if you want to see me uh 
lose my heart through my bottom because I nearly dropped a piece of the winch over the side, then join next week. Right guys, thanks for watching. Oh, again, I nearly forgot. Leave a comment. Is the Tash staying? They changed your tune now, haven't you? <laughs> I, I watched back the footage going through the airport with the thumbs down when I first said, do you like it now? I do like it, yeah. Give us your thoughts, people. Leave a comment. Tash stays, Tash goes. Um, if you like this episode, uh, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not already because we've got some big adventures coming and hit the notification bell so you can see every time we post. Thanks again, guys. Catch you next time.